what's the purpose of the yellow lines painted across the road? To show a safe distance between vehicles. To keep the area clear of traffic. To make you aware of your speed. To warn you to change direction. What does this sign mean? No through road. End of traffic calming zone. Free parking zone ends. End of controlled parking zone. Zone. Prepare to go. Go if the way is clear. Go if no pedestrians are crossing. Stop at the stop line. You're waiting at a pelican crossing. What does it mean when the red light changes to flashing amber? Give way to pedestrians on the crossing. Move off immediately without any hesitation. Wait for the green light before moving off. Get ready and go when the continuous amber light shows. When would you use the right hand lane of a two lane dual carriage way? When you're turning right or overtaking. When you're passing a side road on the left. When you're staying at the minimum allowed speed. When you're traveling at a constant high speed. You're on a motorway. What should you do if there's a red cross showing on the signs above your lane only? Continue in that lane and look for further information. Don't continue in that lane. Pull onto the hard shoulder. Stop and wait for an instruction to proceed. You're waiting at a level crossing. What must you do if a train passes but the lights keep flashing? Carry on waiting. Phone the signal operator. Edge over the stop line and look for trains. Park and investigate. How should you position yourself when you use the emergency telephone on a motorway? Stay close to the carriage way. Face the oncoming traffic. Keep your back to the traffic. Stand on the hard shoulder. On a three-lane motorway, which lane should you use if there's no traffic ahead? Left. Right. Center. Either the right or center. In yourself when you use the emergency telephone on a motorway. Stay close to the carriage way. Face the oncoming traffic. Keep your back to the traffic. Stand on the hard shoulder. Where would you see this sign? Near a school crossing. At a playground entrance. On a school bus. At a pedestrians only area. Where to go? Go if the way is clear. Go if no pedestrians are crossing. Stop at the stop line. What does this sign mean? Turn left ahead. T-junction. No through road. Give way. Where would you see a contraflow bus lane? On a dual carriage way. On a roundabout. On an urban motorway. On a one-way street. What should you do if you want to overtake a tractor but aren't sure that it's safe? Follow another vehicle as it overtakes the tractor. Sound your horn to make the tractor driver pull over. Speed past, flashing your lights at oncoming traffic. Stay behind it if you're in any doubt.
What hazard should you be especially aware of if you're turning left into a side road? One-way street. Pedestrians. Traffic congestion. Parked vehicles. You see a pedestrian carrying a white stick that also has a red band. What does this mean? They have limited mobility. They're deaf. They're blind. They're deaf and blind. What must you do at this junction? Stop behind the line, then edge forward to see clearly. Stop beyond the line, at a point where you can see clearly. Stop only if there's traffic on the main road. Stop only if you're turning right. What should you do before making a U-turn? Give an arm signal as well as using your indicators. Check road markings to see that U-turns are permitted. Look over your shoulder for a final check. Select a higher gear than normal. You're being overtaken by a long, heavily laden lorry. What should you do if it's taking a long time for it to overtake? Speed up. Slow down. Hold your speed. Change direction. How would underinflated tires affect your vehicle? The vehicle's stopping distance would increase. The flash rate of the vehicle's indicators would increase. The vehicle's gear change mechanism would become stiff. The vehicle's headlights would aim high. What should you expect if you see this sign ahead? The road will go steeply uphill. The road will go steeply downhill. The road will bend sharply to the left. The road will bend sharply to the right. You're following a long vehicle approaching a crossroads. What should you do if the driver signals right but moves close to the left-hand curb? Warn the driver about the wrong signal. Wait behind the long vehicle. Report the driver to the police. Overtake on the right-hand side. What do these motorway signs mean? They're countdown markers to a bridge. They're distance markers to the next telephone. They're countdown markers to the next exit. They warn of a police control ahead. You're parked on the road at night. When must you use parking lights? When there are continuous white lines in the middle of the road. When the speed limit exceeds 30 miles per hour. When you're facing oncoming traffic. When you're near a bus stop. Which color follows the green signal at a puff and crossing? Steady red. Flashing amber. Steady amber. Flashing green.
Where is your vehicle most likely to be affected by side winds? On a narrow country lane. On an open stretch of road. On a busy stretch of road. On a long, straight road. What should you do if you think the driver of the vehicle in front has forgotten to cancel their right indicator? Flash your lights to alert the driver. Sound your horn before overtaking. Overtake on the left if there's room. Stay behind and don't overtake. What does this sign mean? Traffic lights out of order. Amber signal out of order. Temporary traffic lights ahead. New traffic lights ahead.